In today's video, we're looking at a brand new power station that has a feature that no other battery generator has ever been capable of. This is the Anker Solix F3800, and it's the first power station on the market that can finally output 120 volts and 240 volts inside just a single device. Now, this Anker isn't the first product that can do 240 volts, but until now, you always had to buy a pair of devices along with some type of a combiner box. But this one is the holy grail of outlets. It's the L1430. It's a 240 volt outlet that is is a common standard in the US on gasoline generators. You can run things like well pumps, electric dryers. For the past five years, there was just no way to power 240 volt options, and that meant that many people still had to buy a gas generator if they were living off grid or they just needed to run their well during an outage. And because this really is the killer feature, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to plug this right into a standard generator transfer outlet that I've got in my house. Now, if you didn't have one of these, it is an item that you'll want to get put in, and you can use something like an interlock like this. Here, I'm switching off my main breaker and of course the lights go out and now I can fumble my way through to turn that interlock breaker to the on position and lastly I've got to just activate the anchor by turning on the AC outlets and remember having 240 volt ability doesn't just mean you can only run 240 volt things these lights my garage door openers are all operating on 120 volts in the same way it would normally with a gasoline generator you can see that I'm already pulling about 1600 watts and that's because my well pump is already on well pumps cycle off and on so I went ahead and left the faucet in the open position just to make sure that the water would keep running and activate the pump. And this Anker Solix is working perfectly, but this device is only capable of up to 6,000 watts of output. But I went ahead and tried to fire up my dryer anyway to see what would happen. Now this dryer is using about 6,000 watts alone. Combined with my well pump, there was just no way I could run it. And it did go ahead into overload mode, but this also allowed me to test out the surge rate. And because it's only rated for 6,000 watts, it was pretty impressive that the dryer could actually run with the well pump at over 7,000 watts for about five seconds. Most people recognize the Anker brand. This is actually their fourth power station and it is the largest. It's got two handles in the front and the back, a built-in trolley system, and it's got rotating wheels that allow you to easily swivel it and you can lock them in position. You've got three USB-C ports along with two standard USBs. You get the car plug. They don't give you any type of wireless charging built into the unit, but that's typically not something you'll use on a larger model like this. This is one you're gonna get for home backup power. That's where I think this model really shines. Inside this, they're using lithium iron phosphate batteries, giving you up to 3000 charge cycles. And I mentioned it's got a continuous duty rating of 6,000 watts of output. Now you can use that by using the 120 volt outlets that you've got six of here, or you can utilize those 240 volt outlets as well. The one on the left is a more common one for something like a dryer or even devices like welders. This is the L1430 you're gonna commonly use for your generator hookups on your house or even an RV. Now the plug is technically rated for 30 amps, but this model rates it at 25 amps because that is the maximum amount of wattage the plug is capable of outputting. On the side of the device is where you can recharge it and you can expand it, and that is something very unusual. Here you've got a battery expansion port, and you can connect multiple batteries all the way up to 25,000 watt hours of runtime. They include 3,800 hours built right in. These yellow ports allow solar charging that can go all the way up to 2,400 watts inside this single device. Additionally, you can plug into a standard 120 volt outlet, and the most unusual feature is this port. This allows you to connect two different Solix devices if you choose. Now you've already got 240 volts of output, but you can decide if you want additional batteries or additional wattage. That means if you connect a second device, you can double the output all the way up to 12,000 watts. But if you just want to have more runtime, you have the option of just connecting an extra battery pack. So that's pretty unique that you can decide if you want additional wattage or runtime, or even both. Anchors included an app with all of their previous power stations, and this F3800 is no different. This is a full featured app, it looks pretty cool, it's got firmware updates, and you can customize all of the individual features, and it does not require the internet to modify the device. You can communicate with it either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. For a single power station, this thing is truly groundbreaking. Being able to purchase just a single device and run 240 volts is completely revolutionary, so far up until now, everything has gone right with this unit. The functions all work correctly. 240 volt power is huge, but there is one thing you need to be aware of. You're gonna start selling this on Kickstarter. Now for a lot of people, that's just gonna be something you won't be interested in. But if you do decide to get on board, they are gonna give you a significant discount to make it worth waiting a little bit longer to get this device. I don't think there's any concerns about Anchor not delivering. They're using it for more of a publicity stunt to get some excitement. Of course, Anchor sells on places like Amazon and directly. So down the road, you will be able to buy it in those places as well. 
So if you've been on the fence about getting a larger portable power station because it lacked 240 volts or you just didn't want to buy multiple devices, this Anchor Solix is definitely one to consider and at the moment it is the only one with 240 volts built in. And I hope you liked this video, got to see a pretty cool device. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.